favor of the draft resolution containing document S-2017-970, please raise the hand. Those against? It seems this was the moment that investigations Abstention. into who carried out chemical attacks in Syria ended. An 11th Russian veto on the side of the Assad government leading to this angry rebuke from the U.S. ambassador. In a world in which the Council's time and attention could be productively devoted to a hundred different things, Russia is wasting our time. Conflicts are raging. Outlaw states are acquiring nuclear weapons. The human dignity of millions is violated every day. Brutal regimes are using chemical weapons on their own people. This was Russia's reply. An extension of the gym's mandate for us is possible only if fundamental flaws in its work are rectified. This was probably the last chance to save the international investigation tasked with working out who was responsible for chemical attacks in Syria. It follows two rival resolutions, both voted on on Thursday, both of which failed to pass. There have been frantic negotiations ever since to save the Syrian investigation, known as the Joint Investigation Mechanism, or in UN speak, the Jim. Ambassador, can the Jim be saved? Absolutely. To be frank, I don't think so. Really? But I'm not sure. So then the Jim is dead? I think it was dead yesterday already. UN officials, including the Secretary General, have been following the negotiations closely. Secretary General, can the gym be saved? We are trying to solve the problem. They failed, and although some are calling for further negotiations, many diplomats believe that the investigation mechanism created by the Security Council has now effectively come to an end. There are implications for the wider fight against weapons of mass destruction and possible repercussions for the political talks on Syria due to start in Geneva in just over a week. James Bay's Al Jazeera at the United Nations.